So I've moved on to the dynamics section, and right now I'm looking at problem 13.22, which reads, the velocity of a bobsled is V equals 10 T feet per second. When T equals two seconds, the position of the sled is S equals 25 feet. What is the position when T equals 10 seconds? So right now it's given us a few things to begin with. It's given us a velocity. We know the velocity is a function of time because it's equal to 10 T feet per second. And it's given us this initial condition of position at two seconds is equal to 25 feet. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with what we know. So we know that the velocity is a function of t is gonna be equal to 10 t. And I'll drop the units for now just to keep the page less crowded and not try to confuse you. So velocity equals 10 t. Now if you step back and think for a minute, velocity as a function of time is defined as the rate of change of a position relative to time. So we can write that as V of T equals DS DT. Now right now, if you look at this, we have a function of velocity in terms of time and we have a definition for velocity in terms of time. We can plug this given uh, term 10 T into this formula right here for V of T. So if we substitute we're going to get 10 T is equal to DS DT. Now, if you look at this right now, you're like, oh boy, I, there's, you know, DS and DT and those are, you know, calculus variables. What do I do? What do I do? Well, it's pretty simple. If you look at this, it's just, it's pretty much just a formula. It's pretty much just a, you know, a fraction here. So what you can do is what's called separation of variables and you can move this DT to the left hand side of the equation to be multiplied by the 10t. So we get 10t dt equals ds. Now we have an integrally small term s in terms of time, given in terms of time. So if we integrate both sides of this, we're going to get on the left side 10 T squared and then remember you have to divide by 2 because we added 1 to this exponent and then we have to divide by that same number plus a constant of integration equals and we'll call that constant 1 equals and then when we integrate this the remember there's a 1 right here in front of this DS so when we integrate that it's just going to become S and we'll add C2. Now if we move the C2 to the other side, we can get S as a function of T is equal to, and then we'll divide here by 2, so we get 5T squared plus C1 minus C2. Now this, you know, you may be looking at this and say, oh, well, we have a given condition, but we have two unknowns down here. C1 minus C2, well, they're both constants, so the result of this is just going to be another constant. So we can just call that C. So we'll replace C1 minus C2 with C. So when we plug in here, we're going to get, oh, sorry, make that a plus, C. Now we have a function S of T in turn s of t and we have an initial condition s of 2 so we can plug in to solve for c so we know that s of 2 has to be equal to 5 times 2 squared plus a constant and we know that is going to be equal to 25 so we can solve for c here so we have 5 and 2 times 2 squared is going to be 4 so this is 20 plus C is equal to 25, so C has to be equal to 5. Now we can plug this back in. We can plug our C back into this equation, and we have a final equation for S position 
in terms of time. So that's going to be 5t squared plus 5. Okay, so now that we have this, it'll be pretty simple to just plug in 10 seconds here and we can solve for what uh, the position of the bobsled is going to be at 10 seconds. So s of 10 is going to be equal to 5 times 10 squared plus 5. So 10 squared is 100. 100 times 5 is going to be 500 plus 5 is going to be equal to 505. And if you remember, this is a position, so it's in, its units are going to be feet that are associated with it. So that right there is what the position of the bobsled is at 10 seconds. Hope that made it a little clearer. Thanks for your time, and let me know if you have any questions.